Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, four white burgundies in front of me today. Um, two from uh, Albert Bichot, uh, a much improved negociant. If you go about 20 years ago, I, you know, I would have said sort of like, but um, I'd say in the last 10 years, maybe slightly more, uh, they've really pulled up their collective show set and uh, uh, are among the movers and shakers in Burgundy, among the negociants. Uh, and Louis Latour, famous negociant, two wines from them. Um, and so we've got a Chablis, uh, we've got uh, one from the Maconnais, and then we've got two from the Cote d'Or. Let's just dig in and see where we get. First one is Chablis, Domaine Long de Paquis, which um, is uh, part of the Albert Bichot uh, portfolio, and it's 2011 vintage. It smells lean and sleek. It's got this uh, citrus green apple. Um, it smells like it's not going to be too full bodied. Chablis. Chablis is one of those weird ones where it, 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 there is this almost like a full flavour but lean body, if that makes sense. Um, fat but thin. That's just what that is. It's got this. Um, rounded rich presence um, but then this spine of acidity and minerality to keep it fresh and then coming through on the uh, on the finish uh, do you remember those fruit salad sweets those ones that were um yeah red and uh, red and orange uh, th th there's that character coming through a bit of the, the red currant um and uh, blood orange tasty wine yum um next one down uh, so we've gone from one end of the burgundy to the other so Chevrolet in the north, uh, Puy Vanzel en Paradis, Louis Latour, 2010, from uh, the southern outposts of Burgundy. Give it a whirl. A bit dumber this, uh, and uh, 2010 was a pretty decent vintage for them, but I don't get a huge weight of anything coming out. It smells, um, smells a bit sulky today, um, can't find anything wrong with it, but it um, doesn't smell like there's much wine jumping out just at the moment. Then when you come to taste it, there's this clean creaminess. There's juiciness there, um, but in terms of actual flavours of uh, either particular fruits or uh, something that you'd say that is definitely the soil, I can't f say I find a huge uh, amount of that. Um, so well made, but yeah, it just feels like the grapes in the, in the first place. Um, certainly there's ripeness there that feel, and I'm not sure, comparative alcohols. The first one is 12.5%, that one's probably knocking... Um, oh, it says 13. Feels a bit weightier. Certainly feels more than a de degree weightier than that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, it maybe lacks a little bit of um, uh, lacks a little bit of uh, cerebral quality. It's okay. Uh, next one. Uh, we are in the uh, Côte, de, Côte de Beaune for the final two. Uh, so first one, Saint Romain. Uh, not the best known of Appalachians, but um, sometimes that can be a good thing. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Uh, 2010 from Albert Bichot. And we're back to a, a, a leaner, sleeker style. Maybe it's a house um, style that's, caught, uh, that's uh, talking here rather than a specific vineyard. Um, so you, you, yeah, you're getting much, much more of a, a, a poised, fine, a spine of acidity. It smells like it's going to have. Uh, I also got a little bit of uh, grilled nuts and something like that, um, and a, to a to slight toasty character. Good, clean, juicy, fresh, rounded, um, amply proportioned, but then sleek finish. Um, can't say it's hugely complex, uh, but the flavours that are there, uh, really nice, honest flavours. There's, there's a juiciness, there's a pear, uh, there's the nectarine, maybe on, on the apricot side. A uh, touch of a uh, really ripe pineapple, but not um, overripe and certainly not um, tinned pineapple. It's, it's, it's the fresh fruit that's coming through here. Um, in terms of uh, a, a future ahead of it, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's looking pretty good now. I wouldn't, wouldn't be bothered to, to keep it for too long. The Chablis, on the other hand, feels like it's it maybe got a two or three years at least ahead of it. But good. But not as good as the Chablis for me. Let's see how we get on with the final wine, which is uh, back to Louis Latour, and it's a 2009 Boone. Again, um, last with the Puy Vanzel. Uh, sit my nose in there and I'm also expecting a bit more wine to come flying out of the glass. It smells okay, but um, not of a huge amount today. Let's taste it. I, it's almost the same comments as for the Puy Vanzel. I notice r roundness, richness, but in terms of um, characters of um, fruit or vineyard, a bit of an absence of them. Um, a bit more in the one before. I, 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 the Chablis is still my favourite. Um, if I've, uh, I mean, I, I very happily. I, it, it's it's a nice drink. 
but I, I want a little bit more uh, character uh, beyond uh, beyond winemaking. I, I, it's, it, feel, it feels like it's a nice, well-made wine. For you. It feels like the fruit was ripe, but um, in terms of the character in that fruit in the first place, not vast amount. Um, I may be wrong. I'll, I'll keep an eye on them and um, and see wh whether they come out of their shell. But uh, I think the Chablis is the one I'm going to be hoovering up tonight. See you soon.